me, that was a hard workout. <laughs> okay, track session done. Um, I'm happy. Hey guys, Dusty here. Uh, I know I said I wanted to start sharing more of my training with you, so here we go. So right now I'm at the track. Uh, this will be my main key workout for the week. And this session is mostly to prep me for a half marathon that will hopefully go ahead in one month's time. But I'm also doing a 10K time trial at the track in one week as well. And this session I'm about to do, I was hoping by this point I would be able to turn this set that I'm about to do into 20 by 400, all of them under 110 with 200 meter easy jog in between, which would have worked out to about a minute active rest. I haven't been doing much speed work, so I've had to revise this workout for today. So for today, I'm gonna be doing 10 to 15 by 400, all of them at the same speed. So all of them under 110, hopefully. So I'm gonna give myself a standing rest of a minute to a minute and a half, depending on how much I need. So I'd love to get through the whole session with just one minute rest, but if I need that extra rest a little later on in the set, then I'll give myself up to 90 seconds. And this is absolutely a speed focused workout. Um, and I love doing 400 meter repeats for half marathon fitness. Anyways, there's a big cloud coming in and I still have to warm up and get it done. So talk to you after the workout. Me, that was a hard workout <laughs> okay track session done um, I'm happy with how it went although I didn't get 15 by 400 done I managed 12 uh, but I was really starting to fade during the last couple um, and here's how it broke down today so I did a 3k warm-up and then I did some activation drills and some strides and then I got right into it and my first 400 was 107 and then 106 108 108 109 108, 108, 108, 110, 110, 110, 110. So I did it, I kept them all at 110 or under. I'd say the last three or four, I was really starting to fade at like the 200 to 300 meter mark. So I decided to just do 12 of the 400s and then I really wanted to keep doing some effort. So I decided to finish with three by 200 and I had pretty much blown up by then, but I still managed to sneak in at 32, 34, and 34. So I'm really happy with the speed that I showed today. I'm pretty confident I'm going to be sub 110 and my half, although I, I don't know if I'm around that 108 mark yet. I feel like a month out might be too soon. If I had two months, maybe, but uh, until then, I'm gonna keep grinding and see what I can do. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, I want it to build this into 20 by 400, all of them sub 110 with 200 meter jog in between. That session compared to this one is so much harder. Um, and that's where I was hoping to be before the half marathon, but I'm definitely not going to get there. Holding sub 110s on just 200 meter jog uh, to do that 20 times is a very elite workout. And once my race is over, I'll reset and build again and I'll get to that point. And for those of you wondering, my shoe choice of the day was the Nike Vaporfly Next Percents. That's more than likely going to be my shoe on race day. So I wanted to put in some fast intervals in the race day shoe. So anyways, thanks for coming along. Uh, if you have a half or a 10K you have to do, try doing a workout similar to this. Uh, 400s are awesome for speed. Anyways, I have to hurry home. It's my daughter's first day of school in 30 minutes. So I gotta get ready and take her to school for the very first time. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.